Let's talk about Etsy's policy on AI images and using AI in your listings and in the products that you're selling on Etsy, because they have come out with an actual policy, but it's very fluid. They've given themselves a lot of room to be able to completely change this as time goes on as they need to. Because the the whole issue with AI is that there is a lot of question about the copyright, the um, you know the training of the models on different copyrighted materials and the whole thing. It's a mess. And Etsy knows that, but they also know that it's probably going to be impossible to rid the platform of all AI, which I think they should do. But like I said, it's very difficult. And people use AI in editing photos that they've taken and that kind of stuff. So it's tricky, but this is their actual policy. I will put the link to this in the um, description of the video so you can read it if you want. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We strive to support our creative community while embracing technological innovation in the arts. Okay, we recognize that many tools used by our sellers today, such as photo editing software, increasingly include AI capabilities that can enhance the creative process and open new artistic possibilities. This is the problem because I know like in Photoshop, there's generative AI. In other editing softwares, there's a lot of AI kind of, you know, tweaks that you can make with stuff and it's becoming more common in photo editing. So how do you separate that out, right? Okay, when artists use the AI tools, they make creative decisions and contributions to guide the AI and carefully curate the output to produce unique finished works for sale. Sometimes, sometimes they don't, that's a different question. Okay, so this is their justification for allowing AI on the platform. After carefully considering the complex issues surrounding AI-generated content, we have decided to continue to allow sellers to use their original prompts in combination with AI tools to create the artwork they sell on Etsy. Okay, so you're allowed to use your original prompts and they have taken off, they've, they've said now that you cannot sell AI prompt packages on Etsy. So they're gonna be removing those listings if you're using original prompts and they say that there is an element of your own creativity in there and so they are allowing that. Permitted examples of this might include a fantasy scene based on a seller's original prompt of, or inputs and produced by an AI generator or a custom portrait of a buyer's pet generated using AI tools. Sellers must disclose within their listing description if an item is created with the use of AI. So you have to say in the description that you used AI to create this, you did not draw it by hand and there is a computer involved, okay? Um, then they're blah, blah, blah. This is the important thing. We also understand there are important ongoing conversations regarding the training of AI models, including ethical questions about the use of copyrighted works and concerns about mitigating bias and negative environmental impacts. For a company that claims to be pro-environment, AI uses a heck of a lot of energy, okay? And I think that people are starting to realize that now. The more important thing there to me is the copyright the ethical questions about the use of copyrighted works, okay? This is the important thing to note. We will be closely monitoring developments in this rapidly evolving area, listening to feedback from our community and periodically reevaluating our policies. So what is legal today on Etsy may not be legal tomorrow, which is a, you know, a good example is that two days ago, it was okay to sell AI prompts on Etsy and today it isn't. So they basically are trying to strike the right balance between enabling our sellers to leverage new creative tools while ensuring that Etsy remains a marketplace known for its original items from real people, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this whole paragraph gives them the ability to change things at a moment's notice, they can turn on a dime, whatever. And that's fine because I, you know, as, as the law changes around the use of AI and the training of the models and the whole thing, Etsy needs to be able to respond to that. So please don't think that if you're building an entire business on creating AI images and selling them as digital downloads, that you're going to have that forever because that could stop tomorrow on Etsy, if not everywhere, I don't know, but Etsy has given themselves the, the out. They've given themselves the ability to change that. And they've said that right there. So you take the risk. That's up to you. Here is where they sell, um, the they where they say you cannot sell AI prompt bundles 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 you cannot sell AI prompt bundles you cannot sell AI prompts at all on Etsy anymore because that doesn't help creativity that just lets people read from a script okay and if you have nudity and sexual content in your AI um, images you have to follow the adult content policies which is a separate thing okay so 
just be aware of all that. If you do have AI as part of your business plan, um, you cannot sell the prompts anymore. And it could be that tomorrow you can't sell the images. So just be aware of all that and plan accordingly. All right, so I did wanna go into that uh, just to touch on it because it's important. Give this video a thumbs up. And the next video that I'm gonna do is gonna be talking about their enforcement policies, which they do have a section about that seems to be new. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't crawl their legal documents that often. So it's whatever. All right, so that's the next one coming up and I'll see you there.